This podcast contains themes that are unsuitable for younger listeners and parental guidance is advised. It's been 30 years. Pass me the Timothy had knocked on the door and a voice shouted enter and the door swung open and standing there was Tabitha, the old man's daughter, along with her husband, the commander. Traitor! shouted Tabitha. They're all traitors! Look at them! Kill them! Kill them now! And before Timothy had a chance to turn his gun onto me, I shot him in the back. Goodbye, old friend. It's been many years, and I had to do what I had to do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe we'll meet one day in hell. Maybe not. Who knows? It was by this point, Gigi had stun gunned Tabitha, and with a big thud, she hit the deck like a sack of shit, leaving the commander. So I backed up a little, keeping my gun trained onto the commander. His head was in my sight, and I closed the door. You might want to stand up, you piece of shit. I said, the commander, it's like, well, what are you going to do about it? What am I going to do about it? Chi-Chi, I don't know. What do you think I'm going to do? Shall I make him a cup of fucking tea? Chi-Chi smiled. Yeah, as long as you get the biscuits out. I miss having biscuits, she said. Yeah, you know what? Fuck the tea, fuck the biscuits. How about we uh, get him a bottle of rum, you know? Or a bottle of scotch. Oh, that sounds interesting, said Chi-Chi. Yeah, it does. Because this piece of shit needs to um, toast his death. You know, his great accomplishment of dying. What do you reckon, Chi-Chi? Oh, I totally agree. This bastard needs to go, she said. Yes, go and go you shall. Now, tell me, Commander, just before we waste you, and we're going to waste you in a nice... It's either going to be a painless way, or I'm going to make you suffer. Now, um, and that all depends on how you answer this next question, I said. The commander just looked at me, puzzled, and a little bit sore and salty that he's been outdone on his own base. The question is, why are you such a fucking traitor to your own people? I'm not a traitor to my own people, said the uh, commander. Really? So uh, you're a human? with a slight variation in a genetic code and yet you've turned on your own people so you could stay alive. You could use your technological advantage to save your own people, to help your own people out. But you've got people like me who have no technological advantage built into me and yet I'm here holding an Anunnaki weapon which I can use to tell me why are you such a fucking coward? The Nephilim are the Anunnaki's people. No, I said, no they're fucking not. They stole our people and they inserted genetic codes into families that would run things for them in their stead. That's slavery. And if you can't see that, then I need to fucking hurt hurt you. I only really need to hurt you. I mean, what's in it for you? What do you get? Chi Chi uh, put her hand on my shoulder. Don't say Chi Chi, you probably won't like it. Oh no, I know I'm not going to like it, I said. I just want to know, the fuck's in it for you? Power, said the uh, commander. You're in it just for the power. You're a bastard. Your own people. Your own fucking people. And you're just in it for the power. What, for a fucking house? You don't really get paid in this army, do you? Oh no, I get prestige, said the commander. Yeah, I get prestige, I said in reply. Prestige. Oh yeah, that's all. You get elevated up in a position of power. Well, fucking well. Fucking bravo. Fucking bravo. Yes, and what do you get out of it, said said the prefect. What do I get out of it? Don't get anything out of it, mate. I don't get paid. Do you think I want to get paid? No, I want to free my people. I want Earth back. I want Earth back from these pieces of shit that control it now. Yes, but they've always controlled it, said the uh, commander. Nah, nah, they haven't, because you still had freedom. Even though you had the prefects on Earth pretending to be us, 
pretending that they're hu fully human when they're just Nephilim like you. You still had regular people being able to buy something, be able to own something, you know, land or own a house. You still had people like me who did well for themselves, you know, did work. I remember this. I wasn't that young. My parents, they were both really high up in the companies that they worked for. We were really well off and they were not Nephilim. They earned and made stuff. And you, you got everything handed to you like that because you got a little genetic marker. Fuck you, I said. Fuck you indeed. And fuck these bastards. You're just a fucking piece of shit, I said to him. Fucking coward, that's all you are. You're nobody. See, you must have heard about the man in black. Her father. Her father? Yes, the traitor to his own kind, really. Well, he thinks that you're a fucking traitor. And your people stole his daughter. And she grew up without him. Being brainwashed by all you pieces of shit. She's coming back with us once we've killed you. You do know this. She ain't gonna come back with you. I know my wife better than you do. Yeah? Well, um, I don't give a fuck, mate. I don't give a fuck what you say. She's coming back with us. And uh, I'm gonna murder you. The old man would wish he could murder you, but hey, yeah, he couldn't be here for uh, unforeseen circumstances. Don't worry though, he's alive. I think I'm gonna keep your head. I'm gonna put your head into fucking stasis and uh, he's gonna keep your head as a fucking trophy. Really? And how would his daughter take that? Well, she ain't gonna fucking know, mate. She ain't gonna fucking know. He's gonna probably uh, use your head as a fucking hat. My head as a hat? Yeah. You think he hasn't done that shit before? Jesus Christ. I've seen him get Anunnaki heads and fucking wear them as hats. He's got Anunnaki skin on his fucking trench coat to repair the damage when it gets ripped up in a fight. Yeah. That's all fucking uh, talk. That's hogwash. It's all mouth. It's not, said Gigi. What do you mean? From you, you subservient piece of shit. I, I fucking said, you leave her alone. Are you saying to me that you hooked up with that? Mate, I said, that there is my partner and I love her. And you don't refer to her as that. Why do you refer to her as that? Well, you think that your race got picked on. Her race, they all are slaves and servants. Your people, your people build stuff. Your people, there are soldiers. And these people, they are there just to clean our toilets. Gigi, do you want me to fucking take his head or do you want his fucking head? Sweetheart, she said, I'll fucking have him. Oh dear, I said towards the uh, commander. You gotta upset the girl and uh, you think that I'm a bad man. You haven't seen anything yet. Oh, shut up, said the commander. I know all about you. You've got a reputation. You hear that, sweetheart, I said. He says that i got a reputation. Let, before you uh, disembowel him, sweetheart, yeah? Shall we hear what he has to say about my, about my reputation? We already know your reputation, lover, Chi-Chi said with a smirk. Oh, shut up. Don't embarrass me. I want it to come from this commander, this so-called commander. The commander looked at me. You're the petty little sadist. I'm a petty little sadist, I said. Yeah, and why am I such a petty little sadist? Because you go around killing harmless little animals. Killing harmless little animals, really, really. Well, these harmless little animals always have weapons. They're miners. You keep murdering the Hartonans. That's like going up to a toddler and stamping his brains out. They're harmless. And you've got a reputation for just constant slaughter of them. Gee, she smirked. See, you're all right, little murderer, aren't you? Oh, shut up, I said. I've killed plenty of Anunnaki. Yeah, but no one that counts, said the commander. Right, that's it. I've got this piece of shit. No, no, I've got this piece of shit, said Chi-Chi. He's insulted me first. Oh, he keeps insulting me. How about we just murk him together, yeah? Both Chi-Chi and myself went closer and closer. Right, how about you knife him? 
and I'll uh, smash his face in with the mace when he's on the floor rolling around in agony up after you fucking ripped his guts out. That's a done deal, said Chi Chi. I like that idea. And Chi Chi gave me a big old wet kiss. Oh, that was amazing, I said. How about once we killed him, let's fuck on his table. Chi Chi smirked and the commander looked horrified. You're gonna fuck that toilet cleaner on my desk. And with that, Chi Chi just knifed him multiple times in the gut. <laughs> Fuck you! The commander rolled around in pain and agony. And Chi Chi left hole after hole after hole. She all turned lover, she said, as she wiped her blade clean on the commander's jacket. Yeah, it's my turn now, motherfucker. I holstered my gun on my belt, and my mace that was strapped to my back was pulled out. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make this cunt suffer a bit. What do you reckon, Chi Chi? Yeah, make that fucking piece of shit suffer. Yeah, let's make this piece of shit suffer, I said. I raised my mace and... I smashed him right in the knee. Ah, you cunt! Fuck! Fuck! Said the commander. I raised my mace one more time and got him in the other knee. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck me. Chi Chi, you hear that? He wants to fuck me. Oh dear, you better do something to his dick then. Oh yeah, I think I shall. I raised my mace one more time. And I struck him right in the ghoulies. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, he said. I raised my mace another time and Fucking cunt! I smashed the commander's arm at the uh, elbow. What do you reckon, Chi Chi? One more time? He still. I think he still wants to fuck me. What do you think? Yeah, said Chi Chi. I think he does. I think you need to teach him a lesson. Because the only person you get to fuck is me. Done. Done. Right, now. How should I kill him now, Chi-Chi? He's gone through a lot of agony. I mean, he's bleeding out from his gut. You got him nice and proper. I just smashed all his limbs. Shall we give the old man his head? What do you reckon? I think, said Chi-Chi, that that is a great idea. Do you want my knife and you can cut his head off? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I handed Chi-Chi my mace and she handed me her knife. Any last words? Fuck you, you cunt. I sent the knife down on his neck and in one fell swoop, his head fell off and all this blood went everywhere. Right, what do you want to carry? The head or Tabitha? I'll go with the head, she said. I'm gonna use that as a bit of a hat right now. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I like that, I'm motif. Yeah, you can walk around with his head as a hat. Do you have any rope, she said. Um, no. How about we undo his uh, laces from his boots and then, you, and, you know, and then you can tie it on that way? That is a great idea, she said. I love that idea. So she unfastened the uh, commander's boots and undid his laces. Chi Chi uh, smiled and looked at me and said, so how do I turn his head into a hat with his laces? Oh, come here, put the head on the floor. So she put the head on the floor and I got her knife. Hey, watch this. Put the knife through one ear and out the other. There you go, that's how you do it. All this blood and brain started to ooze out. Oh, look at that. that that's amazing, that is. Is there a tap in here, do you reckon? Said Chi Chi. Yeah, look, there's a sink over there. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna wash the brains out. That is a fucking good call, I said. You don't wanna walk around with someone's brains all over your fucking head. I mean, we are civilized after all. Chi Chi smiled. Yeah, we're civilized savages, I think. Yeah, well, at the end of the day, I said, he called you a fucking toilet cleaner. That's not true, is it? Well, did create our race to do all the shit jobs. Right, well, don't worry about that, sweetheart, because their days are numbered. Chi Chi rinsed the head out, so all the brains and blood and gore came out. She put the boot lace through, and she strapped the commander's head to her head as a hat. What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. Leave it on. I like it. I like it. It's, it complements your hair, your beautiful blonde hair. Oh, thank you, said Chi Chi. I lifted my wrist up towards my mouth and uh, spoke into the uh, bracelet. Hey, Elvis, you there? A few moments later, Elvis replied. Yes, what's up? 
Well, our mission's complete. Um, you got three to beam up. Chi Chi looked at me. Oh God, it sounds so much like Star Trek. How do you know these things? And there was a bright flash. And after the flash had gone, Chi Chi, Tabitha and myself had appeared in the midsection of the bounty. What do you mean how do I know this? You know that I've been watching that human TV since all my life. Because they exported it, you know. So what, you've seen all the Star Trek? Yeah, I've seen Star Trek and I've seen Battlestar Galactica and I've seen Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Wow, what is Buck Rogers in the 25th century? It's awesome. That's what that is, said Chi Chi. Thank you for listening. Please come back next week for the next episode. If you've enjoyed this podcast, why not check out our other podcast, A Tribute to Men That Hate Their Jobs, which is a brutal but witty portrayal of working a job you hate. In this podcast, there are themes explored in which happy workers simply wouldn't understand unless they listen to these cautionary tales from a man that lost his ideal job because of the global pandemic. Be warned that this podcast contains strong and offensive language that some listeners may not want to hear. In addition, this podcast is not recommended for younger audiences. All our podcasts are available on YouTube. Just search for the Master X Media Podcast channel. In addition, you can also find our podcasts on Amazon Music, Red Circle Podcasts, Stitcher and Spotify. We also have another YouTube channel called The X Review. This is a review and reaction channel. Not only is it on YouTube, but it is also on Brand YouTube, BitChute and Rumble. You can also find us on Facebook, Gab, Twitter and Parlour. All the links are in the description below.